It is time for meal prep. It is time for meal prep. It is time for meal prep. Come on, Joe, let's go. Okay, today we are going to show you how to make something that is great for breakfast, great for lunch, great for dinner, but more importantly, great for meal prepping. It's sage pork sausages. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews and we do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So today we're going to have one video that's going to give you several things. It's going to give you something you can eat for breakfast, something you can eat for lunch, something you can eat for dinner, and you can meal prep this. Well, and it doesn't stop there because we're going to be giving you a recipe for something you probably buy often, sausages, but we're going to save you money and we're going to give it to you in a recipe where you know every ingredient. You don't have to have any sugar in it and you can feel good about it from beginning to end. Yep, so I'm a sausage person. I love sausage. Hey, my heritage is German and Polish. So I love sausage. But here's the thing, I like sausages both in the patties form, but also in the links form. But like Caleb, he doesn't like them in the link form. He doesn't want the sausage casing. He doesn't like the texture of it. So a lot of times we have to buy like breakfast sausage and then cut it open and spew it all out. And I feel like we're wasting the money on that. And then you're throwing out the casing. So why not just make the patties ourselves? Well, I have to be honest, I'm not a huge Lynx person either. I really prefer the patties. Let us know down below, what are you? Are you a Lynx person or are you a patties person? Yeah, that's a good thing. So here's the thing, this is super easy recipe. Really great for meal prepping things, but it's also super simple to make. Now, how easy is it? It is so easy that even Rachel can make it. Yay! Okay, are you ready? Yes. Let's go over the ingredients because you only need a few ingredients and this is why you're gonna see how cheap this really is. First thing we're gonna start off with is some sausage. So this is just two pounds of pure ground pork. No fillers, anything like that. I don't even know how much we paid for it. I think it we bought cheap. it at Walmart, but yeah. it was really cheap. It was like $1.50, $2 a pound. So I think the whole package was like $4.25 or something like that. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. So a we lot. need that. Then we've got some spices. We're gonna start off with some ground black pepper, some salt, Redmond. some nutmeg, some basil, some sage, because I like sage sausage. And then we're gonna use coconut aminos, but you can use soy sauce if that's all you have. You can use a liquid aminos. I like the coconut aminos, but it's whatever you happen to have around. This is a little bit easier to find and usually a little bit cheaper. We like brags. Okay, so let's put all of this stuff off to the side and then we'll get into making the actual sausage. We're gonna start you off with some gloves. Yes. Mostly because we're mixing meat and stuff. And people make comments when we don't use gloves for some reason. Sorry. Take two pounds of ground pork in there. Just drop it in there. Don't eat the paper. You don't eat the paper. And then we're gonna put all of our spices in. So we're gonna start off with two tablespoons of sage. Then we've got one teaspoon of, of, whoop, of a liquid aminos. Very close to losing that. Don't wanna miss any of it. We're going a half a teaspoon of everything else. So ground black pepper, basil, Smells really good. Nutmeg. And salt. Yum. Now all you gotta do is give it a really good mix. How long should I mix this for? Until it's mixed. I don't want us getting like a nutmeg bomb. <laughs> I think you're good there. All right. Okay, you ready? Okay. Okay. Now that we've got that done, you're done. 
I mean, you literally have everything all mixed. All we're gonna do now is meal prep it. So you can actually get rid of those gloves. Okay. What we're gonna do is I've got some parchment paper here. I'm gonna take a cookie scoop. I like okay, this. This is the bigger one. And all we're gonna do is make a bunch of portions. So you can scoop it out into however many balls you want. Balls. I knew you were going there. Okay, now that we have everything divided into balls, you can put a glove back on. I'll even grab some. Okay. Now again, you could make this as big or as small as you want. I personally want bigger sausage. I'd rather have one big one than a bunch of like little ones. I say always go for bigger balls. <laughs> always. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply kind of roll out the ball a little bit. And, <laughs> and then we're going to flatten them out. So okay. just kind of give it a little roll and then flatten them. Oh, this feels like Play-Doh. Okay. Meat Play-Doh. I cannot say enough how incredible it smells in this kitchen right now with all of these seasonings. When you see how fast this is, it just makes sense to make them yourself. Yeah. Okay. So we've got that done. And again, you can make them a little bit thinner if you want. You can make them as thick as you want. Now, what I like to do is I like to actually put this on a cookie sheet and I'm going to put it in the freezer and let them get hard. Then I'll take it and put them into like bags so that you can, you know, have them, you know, frozen for later. If you put everything in the bag right away, what's going to happen is they're going to freeze together. And it's like, you know, when you go get those frozen hamburgers yeah. and they're all stuck together. So to me, it's better to freeze them separated once they get completely frozen, then transfer them into a Ziploc bag. Yeah. So we're going to put these away in the freezer and we're going to grab the frying pan and then we're going to fry up a couple of them and see how they taste. Yay. Are you ready to eat now? I am so ready to eat. Okay. So we've got a cast iron pan here. So if you're not using cast iron, uh, put like a tablespoon of oil in, uh, or if you're using a cast iron pan that everybody likes to put soap into, you might want to add a little bit of oil as well. Yeah. We're just going to go ahead and put these in here. Easy cheesy. Okay, so we're at the most important question. Okay. When are we going to eat? When they're done. Not good enough. How many minutes until I have food in my mouth? I can't give you a minute. It's going to depend on how hot you make your pan. You want your pan on like a medium heat. Um, so it's whenever you would cook a pork sausage, however you judged it before, I like to get a nice crust on the one side. So don't flip it too many times. No, don't flip it too many times. Get a nice crust on one side and then you're gonna flip it over to cook it the rest of the way through. When it's done, it's done. We've had this on here for probably three or four minutes. So we can go ahead and do a test one. And Ooh, see, there you go. Look at that. He looks crusty. And now. In a good way. See, like that one, not, not as yet. much. He wasn't ready. <sighs> okay. Okay. We're in the vicinity. And then uh, this one, I'm going to actually let go a little bit more. We're not getting a, a super even heat on here, but that's okay. We're going to actually raise this up just a little bit. Okay. It smells like breakfast. I'm going to push that off to the side. Put this here. Those look good. And okay. Here we go. That smells so good. Don't bring your hand on a pan. No. There you go. The dink it. Dink. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Like the best sage sausage ever. That is so good. You can always adjust the spices mm -hmm. for your taste. Yep. So, well, wow. good. I'm not going to put any macros up because it's going to be completely dependent on the sausage and how much fat and stuff you got in there. And again, also how many patties you actually divide it into. Yeah. Now the link for the recipe for this entire thing is down below, but you see how quickly it was to meal prep it. So now you could just have those all, 
Have them all in the freezer. You can cook in the microwave if you really wanted to. You can cook them on a pan, but everything is ready to go. You could even pre-cook everything and then have them in the refrigerator ready to go each day where you can eat them with a hard boiled egg or something like that. Delicious. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other recipe videos that we have linked right down here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which we have linked right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel, click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we make something delicious, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.